The Toronto Zoo has given the Toronto Sun exclusive access to a behind the scenes looks at what goes on, which includes breeding programs for species at risk and how the zoo goes about feeding 6,000 animals a day. The Toronto Zoo's Great Lakes program has partnered with communities around Lake Victoria in East Africa, where stocks of Negege fish have been depleted, similar to those overfished cod disasters in the Maritimes. The zoo is working on replenishing the Negege, which 30 million East Africans rely on. The Negege was a primary fish that used in the fisheries over in the Lake Victoria system in East Africa. Uh, it was eventually fished out from overfishing, water quality damage around the lake, as well as the introduction of exotic species like the Nile perch into the Lake Victoria system. Now, working directly with the government in Kenya and Uganda, we are working on a long-term rehabilitation program. So we have taken fish from the lake system. We are maintaining a population. So periodically we breed them and we hold them here in captivity. We work directly with the population of uh, people around the lakes to educate them on aquaculture, uh, give them technology and develop an aquaculture system for Negege that works over in their area. Because it was the primary food source for a very low income area, um, poverty area. So the loss of this as a natural fishery for just the general population to go out and fish for protein has been extremely devastated. Every day, Dr. Graham Crawshaw, the senior veterinarian at the Toronto Zoo, cares for animals that can fit in your hand to others larger than a minivan. What he loves about his job is that every day is different, dealing with tamarind to snow leopards. I think um, uh, there's not that many of them, but uh, people just don't know enough to know how many there are. The Wildlife Health Centre is really home to many of the uh, conservation breeding programs uh, for animals that you wouldn't necessarily see out there on the, on the zoo site. The numbers of, of the Vancouver Island marmot, which was unique to Canada and just specific to Vancouver Island, the numbers of this species came down to like 30 in the whole world. Um, and through captive breeding at this zoo and an, another other a number of other zoos in facilities in uh, Canada, um, the species has been saved. Um, well, the numbers are now up to 300 or something in the, in the wild. One of Toronto Zoo's mandates is to ensure the world doesn't lose a single species of animals. That is where the reproduction programs come in. The zoo recently was able to produce a baby wood bison, a Canadian mammal that has faced extinction. What we did here at Toronto Zoo is try artificial insemination protocols with our females and we were very, very happy last year, the birth of the first um, AI or insemination baby for us here at Toronto Zoo and her name is Paula because my wonderful assistant researcher Paula Mackey was my right hand woman through this whole thing so uh, <laughs> she got the first uh, namesake. <laughs> For the Toronto Sun, I'm Kevin Connor.